Hey guys, so I had to make this video again. YouTube did not like the previous video because I went pretty ham on a certain YouTuber who was giving stay the course advice as well as panic, everyone get off the Titanic. The boat is now sinking. Oh, also sell me your valuables, please, on this lifeboat of mine. You can probably guess, I, I went on a rampage towards the end, so I just had to, uh, no, it was pretty bad, uh, but what I, my point was, I'll just try to make my point very clear from the very beginning. You can't give, if you listen to MTG Finance and many people in the community, their vices actually are very illogical. You can't, let's imagine we're on the Titanic. You can't stay the course and everyone get on lifeboats because Card Kingdom is no longer has a buy list. I, I just want hope that you understand that. Now back to the topic of the video. This card spikes every single time there is a cycling or there's a cycling card previewed, which would be for Ikoria. Ikoria, we know that there are cards that will cycle. It is not a mystery to us that that is the case. We have seen them. In Amrinket, we also had cards that cycle, and that's why you see the increase, that giant spike from 25 cents to looks like almost 20 bucks. But what if I could tell you that, and I've always said this, any modern... Any card that can be reprinted should be reprinted to dust. Because at the end of the day, they're just pieces of cardboard. So the reserve list is something very unique in Magic the Gathering. Now, do I like the reserve list? No, but will I take advantage of it? Yes. And the reason is very simple. If you think a card and you like a card and it's not on the reserve list, whether it's a shock land or a fetch land or this card, for instance, where a bunch of uh, dumb, dumb MTG finance people went out to buy. I bet you at the time they were buying and clicking the button, they felt like so smart, right? Like, I'm so smart. At this point of the video, you probably have no idea what's coming next, do you? Take a guess. What do you think was spoiled today? Which would have me saying how foolish this is. And... The fact that there's so many MTG finance websites and podcasts and people who, you know, Patreons is pretty disgusting, isn't it? I mean, imagine this game that's made for children and grown adults are just spiking the price of these cards for no other reason. Like, this doesn't help anyone. So if you actually want this card for your commander deck because it's not playable in standard or even modern you are now forced to pay $24 for it except it got reprinted let me repeat that again somebody or a group of financial advisors urged their stupid dumb paywall people to go ahead and buy this card because, oh my gosh, it's the speculation of the century. And it's not hard to understand, like, the math, right? Hmm. Cycling. Ikoria. Hmm. This card makes cycling cheaper. Seems like a good, good fit. Any card in Modern or Pioneer or Standard or Brawl or whatever new format they come up with should be reprinted if it's not on the reserve list even a card as old as urza saga that has not had seen any reprint since that time will be reprinted to dust and that is my promise to you mtg finance so everyone who is like really smart and you know giving financial advice the best financial advice honestly it was to sell your magic collection but most people didn't tell you that because then how would they get, why would you subscribe to a paywall which gives you financial advice if you currently own no magic cards? The best financial advice is to not invest in magic cards. But that goes against 
these paywalls, right? The whole point of you paying these people, I don't know how much you pay them, five, ten dollars a month, is they somehow give you inside trading information when they're just as clueless as everyone else. And like I said about a certain alpha investment, how can it be stay the course and get off the boat because the boat is sinking? What they do is they make one video, it says X, they make another video, they say Y, and the Y is the opposite of X. And then whenever the information comes out, they pick whatever video. See, I told you so, I told you so. And it was like, okay, but you also said that Card Kingdom, Channel Fireball, and all these big, very, very data-driven companies are jumping ship. So what is it? Stay the course or jump ship? Why don't we make a video? I'll make one video saying jump ship. I'll make another video say stay the course. And whatever it tr turns out to be the right answer, I will just um, delete the other video. Smart, but not very, very honest.